Hey everybody, it's been a while since I made a video, um, but I think we have a common problem here <laughs> in that um, butterfly larva, also known as caterpillars, which we love the butterflies, they pollinate everything, but their babies, which are caterpillars, can kind of be a nuisance and then can eat everything. So um, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with this one little pest. It's not a pest. When it's an adult, it won't be a pest. <laughs> I'll show you what I'm talking about. So right here we got a beautiful guy, or girl, that is um, munching on my carrot here. And um, we don't want him to do that. So we're going to, instead of killing it, because it will eventually be a butterfly one day and be helpful in the garden, we're going to do a kind relocation. So one thing about caterpillars is each caterpillar is very specific on what they like to eat. So, um, it might be good to look up, you know, caterpillar, like you can Google caterpillar eating and then whatever plant they're eating and then you'll pretty much find out what it's going to be. So then maybe you can make your decision based on like, is that something I want around my garden or not? I don't have any examples right now, but, um, it's like they're usually everywhere until you need them. But those little white moths that flutter around around summertime, those are cabbage, uh, looper moths and they're very pretty and dainty but their babies make cabbage worms and they will decimate your collard your cabbage pretty much all your dark leafy greens kale in a day like you'll go to bed everything's great you'll wake up and you just have like sticks growing out so um do some research don't just kill things um because they might be helpful or um you know make a decision based on what you need in your garden right now. So this particular caterpillar um, will be a black swallowtail. Although I think if they have dots on them, they're Eastern swallowtails, but they're very beautiful butterflies. And they like to eat members of the carrot family. And so you might be thinking, okay, well, what am I gonna do with it? <laughs> so if you, I am lucky to be growing dill not too far away. And so Dill is in the carrot family, and so I'm gonna gonna transport him or her over to my dill plant, so they can eat that all day, and I do not care. But I'm very um, particular about my carrots. <laughs> so other things in the dill family, parsley. Um, there is a wildflower that's pretty common around here called Queen's and Queen's and Queen Anne's lace. Um, and if you've ever seen a carrot bloom, they look very similar. It's called wild carrot. And then there's also poison hemlock. I don't know if you got any poison hemlock around. Um, so caterpillars don't just eat anything. You have to transport them to a plant they actually want to eat. So if you don't have anything like that lying around, I don't know. <laughs> but I want to try to, um, save this guy and see if I can get him over to the dill, make him happy as clam. So I've never done this before, but we're going to try. It seems like it would make sense. All right. This is like a two hand job. I've got my jar, got my caterpillar. Um, I'm going to try to do this. Uh, I'm going to try to prop up my phone and then um, and come back. Okay. All right. Here's the caterpillar. <laughs> Here's my jar. I'm so sorry, buddy. Oh, he's stuck on there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my gosh. Get in my jar. Get in there. <laughs> They're so gooey. Okay. Come on. Come on, buddy. It's like creeping me out. Oh. I'm trying to save your life. <laughs> okay. Plan B. Okay. <laughs> Plan B. So, the little branch that he's on, here's the carrot. There's other leaves on here, so I'm going to just snip off the stem that he's on and put it in the jar, and then we'll relocate him that way. Um, and I'm sure there's people that are just like, uh, just pick it up, but 
they seriously creep me out. And he gets these little orange things kind of pop out of his head when he's stressed out. So, um, no stress. <laughs> I mean, this is probably going to be stressful. Okay, so here we go. Clippy the stem. We've got it. Transporting into the jar. And now we're going to take him to his new home. All right, so here we are near the dill. There's much more to eat, much more hospitable environment. Here's my caterpillar on a stick. And I'm just going to... And kind of set him, <laughs> set him right in there. Oh, there he goes. He's kind of figured out. He knows what to do. All right, I feel like a total uh, hippie. That's not a bad thing, right? But um, yeah. Save your pollinators. Take care of them if you can. <laughs> Hopefully, he'll move on to the dill. I see him kind of realizing that that carrot he's on it's not so tasty when he's got that whole dill plant he can just eat and I need some help because it's good and everywhere so I hope that helps have a great day see you soon